Hello guys, welcome to today's video tutorial by Trust Stanley at TS Tech Talk. Today guys, I'm going to teach you how to create a Facebook advertisement on your Facebook page with the Facebook Business Manager. Like I did on the previous video, I showed you guys how to put in money on the Facebook Business Manager. And on this video guys, I'm going to teach you guys how to run an advertisement from your Facebook Business Manager. Then go ahead and open your um, web browser just as before all you need to do is to go ahead and type business facebook.com slash overview don't forget slash overview you put facebook business.com going to lead you to a different home page so um once you've done that go ahead and click on this menu menu option just after the facebook logo and it's going to show you different options all you need to do is to click on the facebook um ad manager now if you note this is actually the kind of um, facebook ad manager that you have on your mobile device it's very similar way to run advertisement but i think um the laptop version is a bit different and a bit more um a bit wider and a bit easier to use and also much more interactive and gives you more audience and more reach to your facebook advert so um my internet is a bit slow so i'm going to be posting this video once in a while you might not notice that anyway So um, the Facebook ad manager is open. You can see this is the option. And once it opens like this, it gives you different, um, it shows you overview of your previous um, completed advert you've run and um, what they actually went for. You can notice this ones are for page like, this one is for link, click, page like, page like, page like. So I've promoted a lot of page like and I didn't get much page likes on my page yet. So um, let me go ahead and create another advertisement. So um, to create a fresh advertisement, go ahead and click on create, wait for it to load. It might take a while depending on your internet speed. So once it comes up, you can notice there are several ad option. Not to get confused, you know what you want to do already. And if you notice, it has two options right here on the beginning. It says create a new campaign and you can see there is option to select an existing campaign and these are the previous campaign that I've done but I want to create a new campaign if you want to run a previous campaign you can go ahead and select that but because I want to show you guys probably um, you guys are new to this so I'm going to click a new and create a new campaign and there are several options to do this you can actually select this particular option to choose and to start creating it quickly and it's going to actually show you um, a very fast um, recommended way and Facebook is actually going to be recommending you to a different option for you to select let me show you guys once you click on the create quick creation wait for it just wait for it to load once it finished loading you are going to see so um, now you're just going to have to add a name just give it a name um, so um, now you can select on the buying type option then you can see the campaign objective is traffic it automatically selected traffic for me but um either way if you don't want to run traffic for some reason you can go ahead and select on the brand awareness because actually it was the brand awareness i'm supposed to be running but for some reason now you can see the daily target for us is 19 you can go ahead and edit this to change this to whatever you want let's say you want to choose 1000 naira select that then make sure you put um, an ad name you can see um, just choose whatever you can remember easily so after that click on add name to so once you're done go ahead and click on save to draft then once you click on save to draft it's actually going to ask you if you want to publish the ads or if you want to just save it to draft you can actually select any of them that you want but let's head back to what i really want to show you guys because i just want to show you guys a quick overview of this one just in case you decide to run a quick um advert placement not to stress yourself this is actually what i prefer doing i prefer creating the advert myself and i'm not going to run 
a quick advert so i'm going to go ahead and click on the switch back to guided creation so you can notice if you actually found it difficult selecting that particular option just go ahead and click on switch back to guided advert creation so it's going to switch you back to the different to the default one which is this one so um, once this option is selected, all you need to do is, um, remember is actually selected to click on the new campaign, but if you already have existing campaign, you can go ahead and click this one. So um, go ahead and select this particular option to click on the brand awareness because that's what I want to run. But if you guys want to learn more and to know how this works or what you really want to do, just click on this one, this icon right here, and then select this learn more. It's going to display a few brief um beside it and you can notice what it says about the brand awareness it says learn more about the brand awareness objective and blah 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 so if you want to learn more about the brand awareness you can go ahead and click on this it's going to show you more about the brand awareness so it's going to say um use this guide creation blah 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 so that brand awareness objective fill in the names blah 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 trial blah 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 so you guys can take some time in reading every other thing to understand how the brand awareness runs but for this advert purpose i want to use the brand awareness so for the next one you can see right here if you click on more option you can read more about um the riches and all those kind of stuff so you guys should take some time to um Take some time to read more about this before you run and before you decide on the best one you want to choose. And if I actually want to run um, views, if I want to um, generate more views on my videos, this is actually the ones I usually run, which is the view, um, video view. You can also do that in your own advert creation. But for this purpose, I want to run the brand awareness. So once you've clicked on it, wait for it to load. It's going to load and show you an option below you can see it's very similar to the previous one we selected and uh, you can this is campaign name is brand awareness just leave that to brand awareness so that you will know how successful the advert went if you're getting your traffic on it and then another thing i want to um point out is this particular one so you have to choose this particular one depending on the amount on your current account now you can notice it's set to daily to run 4000 naira daily and it's not very bad actually if you choose the specific amount you have um your account or if you choose more than the amount you have on your account the advert is still going to um, run anyway but for some reason i prefer choosing a lifetime amount and selecting the specific amount i have on my account so i'm going to go ahead and choose that which is um 2000 naira so um this is the specific amount i have on my account so um if i choose that can notice there is it's too low your campaign budget must be 11k to the account oh, blah, blah, blah 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 why why is it oh, i don't have up to that okay wait. so um let me just set this to daily budget to this amount no um there is a trick I'm going to show you guys a trick to run more adverts on this video on my next video actually you can um, put a little money and make money run for quite a long time for you so once you're done click on continue you guys notice i just put 2k on my account and 2k is very small so on my next video i'm going to show you guys more trick on how to um utilize the money you have on your account to generate um much more audience than you ever expected so um once you've done that you can notice it says um use the save audience but i don't want to use the save audience i actually want to create a new one so to add a new one go ahead and click on this particular option right so let's go ahead and create a new click on reach new people and then the new source select a custom audience and then i selected this video but it didn't actually work um so i'm going to go ahead and select this facebook page because it works and if it didn't select the specific um page you want go ahead and choose from your page section by clicking on the drop down and make sure this um includes people in any um for this video i'm going to select the facebook page and then make sure you select this 360 days for the past audience and and make sure you add your Facebook um, audience name. So I'm going to say EG like. 
can include and exclude people so go ahead and select exclude so so this is how the set of people that I want to exclude I'm excluding them from the Facebook page and the people um, anyone who's already sent message anyone who's already clicked on the course actually I want to exclude people Anybody that already saved uh, my page doesn't need to be included in this advert because they already belong to the page. And anybody who already posted a message, okay, I want them. So I'm only going to exclude this kind of people. Anyone who already saved my page, that means is interested on my page. So it's going to be a waste of money if I'm still bringing them back in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this create audience. And guys, just make sure you know, if you're not getting new likes and new followers, just go ahead and cancel that particular advert and run another one. I'm going to show you guys tricks anyway. Go ahead and click on done. So that has been added and the location is only on Nigeria. I'm going to change this because I really don't like um, running advert on only Nigeria. I prefer running on Philippines because I have a lot of people being from Philippines. So I'm going to choose Philippines as a country, not a particular location. Okay, select that country. And then once it's been selected, um, my audience range is very low. This is not going to be a good advert, so I'm going to change this. Why? Why is it low? This is not going to be a successful advertisement. So let me go ahead and add more country. Just to increase my audience reach. And um, So, um, guys, um, the country that I've been putting so far is actually the country that are actually watching more of my videos. So, I'm getting those audience because they already watch more of my videos. And I actually think the reason why this audience is a bit not broad is because I've already made use of, I'm making use of this, but don't worry. So, uh, make sure you set your age range. I don't always get more people, so I'm going to leave this to 18 slash to 65 because Facebook actually have that and then automatic placement leave this automatic and then click on continue wait for it so you can go ahead and select a single image or a video and you, if you want it to be like a cursor you can also go ahead and click on the cursor option but i want this to be a single image so um so i don't really need an instant experience but if you want that anyway you can go ahead and select that and this is okay for me looking good and you can see the preview on the mobile and you can also check the desktop preview and see if it looks good you can see the preview on messenger and you can also see the preview on um, video streaming is not there because this is actually not a video so um, if you guys are okay with this you can go ahead and launch and then if you want to set up a Facebook pixel which I'm not running right now and I'm just going to go ahead and click on continue but if you want to add a URL to your website you can put that but I don't want to add a URL to my website for some reason because um, advert is just the advert is just um, going to run on Facebook I don't want to add a pixelated content or URL extending them outside I just need to get more followers and more likes on my page so once you don't click on continue to confirm advert to load up for you wait for it to load 
which is going to confirm your advert and you can notice is actually going to preview currently it's on draft facebook is going to review your advert to make sure that the advert doesn't violate any of their rule and if it doesn't violate any of their rule you're going to be seeing published right here but right now it's not yet published and okay you can see it's currently under review wait for it to complete the review and once the review is complete it's going to be showing published and once it shows public damage it's successful so thank you guys for watching this video if you guys um enjoyed this video please don't forget to smash the like button and then follow me and subscribe to the channel see you guys soon on my next video stay home and stay safe peace